Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about this product by Chanel. It's the Water Fresh Tint. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. You may have seen me talk about this in my haul and favorites. It's one of those things I've always wanted to try. It is not a new product. I've seen people talk about it and really love it and people talk about it and really not love it. I did pick it up in medium. This is one of the challenges is finding the correct shade online. I also did have a question about this bag so we can talk about that at the end if you're interested. I know that Chanel is increasing its prices so if you're interested in this I don't know when that's happening but if you wanted to take a look at this bag a little bit more closely without going into shop, I can show it to you. So let's go ahead and try this on and I will give you my thoughts at the end. I've got on my eye makeup eyebrows. I also have on the Color Science 3-in-1 right under my eyes. I think that's it. So we'll go in with this. It is again in medium. I'm going to take a pump. If you haven't seen this, it's clear liquid with some particles of pigment. You should be able to see how those pigment particles are just being suspended. I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush. It comes with this brush, and I'm just going to tap it in there. And that was one pump. I have been going in with a few pumps. <laughs> I'll show you one pump. And I'm going to just focus this in the middle of my face because it's the right shade for the middle of my face, but not really anywhere else. I'll do a little bit on my forehead just so you can see the difference, but I think you can see it's too light. So we'll do something a little bit different once I get there, but right in this cheek area and in the center of my face, it is the right shade. When I do my makeup, it is easier for me to go with the lighter colors on my face. Then I have so many bronzers, it makes it easier to match the exterior um, doing that. Now I do have the Chanel bronzer on the way, so I'll try it with that. It finally came back into stock, so I just ordered that today with of course a few more of the eyeliners. Okay, I think I've gone in with three pumps already. So this is something that probably will not last me very long, um, but you can see it starts to become too light right in here. So I'm just going to keep it concentrated towards the middle of my face. Now I like it because it feels nice and cooling and refreshing, especially in these hotter months. It also does some blurring without looking like it's covering up your skin. So I'm gonna show you side by side. Again, we have discoloration to show that difference. You can see right here, it's a lot more evident than here. It doesn't completely cover it up. And that's what I actually like about this product. It doesn't cover up my skin, just as a little bit of blurring. So if you have really nice skin to begin with, it does a good job of perfecting it. And I have noticed an improvement in the appearance of the texture of my skin. So just as I turn, you can see how the light hits it and it just looks, it looks a lot smoother. It also feels really comfortable. So that is the only place I'm going to put this because once we get here, I'll show you what we're going to try to do. And I did this the other day, so I'm taking a couple more pumps here. I did this the other day and, and I noticed it doesn't mix with other products very well, but I'll show you what we'll try. I just think that maybe the bronzer will really do the trick. That's a really nice fresh fragrance to it. And I'm quite sensitive to fragrances, so this one does not bother me. So if you are similar to me in this area, I think it's really great. What we're going to try to do, and I tried this yesterday, I'm putting a pump of the Water Fresh Tint here. I'm also going to take this Guerlain product, this one that I talked about recently. It's the Tinted Skin Care Jelly see how this goes, but I'm going to try to kind of combine the two for the exterior of my face. So I'm just taking that brush, I'm swirling them around, and I'm going to go in here. Still a little bit light, I see though, but that's okay. We'll go in with a little bit more of that skin tint. Now I did see that they came out with those drops, but I, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know if you, I should pick it up. So now I'm gonna just go in straight with this to kind of deepen that exterior. So that way I can still have a little bit of coverage, but really, really lightweight. And then I don't have to buy another shade. Although at the rate I'm going through this, I mean like it's pretty new, look how much I've used. I might invest in a deeper one. I just enjoy wearing this. It feels really nice on the skin. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go in straight here now with this. So you can see that terracotta. So it's even a little bit deeper than my skin tone. Yeah, I have all kinds of different shades on my face, especially my forehead here. I'll go ahead and finish up my makeup and we'll talk about this product a little bit more in depth. And I did want to just check the claims on this and see if they match with my experience. It says the first Chanel complexion tint featuring pigment micro droplets that deliver a water fresh sensation and a radiant healthy looking glow. All of those things I agree with. You could see those micro droplets in there. When it talks about a water fresh sensation, I think that's what makes this product the most fun to apply. I really like how it feels on application, and I can't describe it better than they did. It just is very refreshing. A radiant, healthy looking glow. And what I like about that is that it's not sparkly because I can't deal with anything too shimmery on my face. So it does give a nice glow without being shimmery. So let me just look at it really quickly and see what's coming through here. Yeah, it's not sparkly at all, so that's great. I'll talk about what I finished up with I forgot. So I used the uh, Essential Palette, the one with the concealer in it. I used that palette, and I'll list the shade down below. I also used the La Mer Powder. I just got my order in, so I tried that out too. Really pretty, so it's a little preview. Um, I have a Chanel blush on, a Chanel lip, a Chanel lip gloss, and then the Guerlain bronzer, and... I think that's it. If there's anything else I finished off with, I will let you know what they are. Of course, I will list them all below. It says it's created with patented microfluidic technology. The lightweight gel texture bursts with ultra pure ingredients for a bare skin effect with eight hours of hydration and comfort. It is quite hydrating. So I am enjoying that because of my dry skin right now. It feels really nice on it. I don't know about the eight hours of hydration, but it is very, very comfortable. And it has that bare skin effect because I feel like most of my skin looks really good to begin with. It's just the discoloration in very concentrated parts of my face. It, if I had freckles, I would definitely let them show if this was dispersed into freckles. I would, yeah, those would be out for show, but they are not, they're just clumps of pigment. So <laughs> that's why I like to conceal them. Skin feels refreshed and energized. So I really, really like this product. And I know I've read that you can use it as a primer. I've read that you can use it over foundation. Now I haven't figured out exactly how that will look. Although I have kind of dabbed it on top of concealer and it does a really nice job of kind of smoothing everything out. Really pretty. So I will continue experimenting this. We'll get some updates on my favorites at the end of the month. But so far, like I've used this every day since I've gotten it. So for those of you who are wanting to try it and you have discoloration, you can spot conceal like I did. I just added it under my eyes right here, above my lip, and then just a little bit on the forehead and not too much because that concealer's a little bit light for my forehead. Um, and I didn't put too much on. So I kind of went over it with a blush as well to a little bit of color correcting. I did not color correct with the products that I use though, but I feel like the blush I used did a little bit of that for me. So if you wanted to try it and you like your skin to show through, this is not for people who like foundation, medium to full coverage. This is like not even light coverage. It's somewhere lighter than that. So just know that it is a perfecting, like a skin perfecting kind of product where you can see your skin. So I hope that the blurring was evident when I showed you side by side, because I think that shows you what it can do without covering everything up. That is my ultimate goal with makeup is to get it to look like skin without covering up the skin, but also in a way that blurs the discoloration. So for me, this is almost the perfect type of product for me. Yeah, if I can pair this with a really great concealer, I'm in good shape. But what I liked about it when I did put on concealers, it kind of matched the texture. Because if you do put like a heavier concealer, or like I'll go in with Clay de Peau with this, and it is, it is pretty heavy duty in terms of that concealer if you've used it. And this kind of softens it a little bit. So let me know if you want me to show you that in action. I could throw it in a tutorial at some point. So if you have tried this, let me know what you think because I know people are like on one side or the other of this. There, I haven't really seen anyone who just thought it was okay. <laughs> so that's it for this. I hope that was helpful for you. If you are not interested in the bag, then thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And if you are interested in the bag, then we're gonna talk about that in a second. 
Let's get into this bag a little bit. I picked it up in Italy last year in Rome. I'm so glad I did because I have read that they are increasing their prices by 20%, which at that point kind of puts it in a range where I would not purchase this bag because above a certain threshold, I just feel like it's too much for a bag. So um, I don't know when that's happening, but I hope that this helps you if you were interested in it and you were unable to go to a shop right now and you wanted to see what it looked like. So I picked mine up, like I said, in Italy. They are made in either Italy or in France. I had read kind of like not so great reviews and I was prepared to walk out of the store if the customer service wasn't good because I had saved for so, so long for this bag. This is one of those things I've saved years for. So gifts for my family were towards this bag. I had saved for it. I had not purchased another bag in a long time probably years. I mean, nothing substantial, nothing designer um, in that time frame, just because I knew that I wanted this bag. So this is not something I took lightly. So it's like the one bag, if I was never going to buy a bag again, this was it. So this is a very special item to me, again, that I did not take lightly in terms of purchasing. And it was also partly an anniversary gift for my husband. We had gone there for our 10th anniversary that was delayed by a couple of years. So it was like really our 12th anniversary. This is the caviar leather. It has the CC in gold and also the hardware is in gold. This is, it comes with a nice book if you want to read all about it. Um, and I can give you more information. Just ask me questions, but I thought I would just show you the chain. Of course, this is a very iconic piece of this bag, the leather going through the chain. It also has, I think they call this the Mona Lisa pocket in the back because it looks like, I guess, a smile, um, but it's a very narrow pocket. There are seven pockets in this bag. The reason I picked it up in the caviar leather is because I knew this was a bag I was going to keep for pretty much forever. So I knew that any wear and tear on it would be harder to see on this pebbled leather. But this is a bag that I use. I'm not very like gentle with it. I don't want the bag to own me, if that makes sense. So I do use this, but when I'm done, I put it away and then I take it out to film. This doesn't live on that table, um, but it's such a beautiful piece of art. So I like to put it on display when I can, in a video at least. So you open up the flap. This is a double flap. It's the medium. Um, and there's a pocket here with a zipper. <laughs> And it says something about putting love notes in there. I don't know. I don't have any. Do I have anything? I don't have anything in there. Like it's not really a usable pocket. It's just very small. Yeah. It's really not for much of anything unless you have any love notes that you want to put in there. And then you open the other flap and then you have the double CC. It's burgundy inside and mine says made in Italy. So I don't know if you can see that. Inside though, I do have, I have the authentication card. I did get a liner for it just in case I spill anything inside like a lip gloss or something. So it sits in here. I got it off of Etsy. I can leave you the link too, but it just is a liner so it doesn't get scratched inside. And it has some pockets in it. The liner does. They make these for all different kinds of bags in case you wanted to protect the inside of your bag. But this just slips in there perfectly and this is made for the medium double flap bag um, and then inside there's another pocket here i don't really use this pocket i mean it's just very shallow there's not actually that much room in here by the time i put the liner in there there's not much room at all um, so if i was a little bit taller like i'm five six five seven if i was any taller than that i would go for the next size up I liked this though because it was a classic size. Um, and then here's the interior. You have more pockets. Oh gosh, you have a pocket here and a pocket here. So there should be seven pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm guessing this is seven. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a little pocket in here in between. Five, I don't do anything with that six and then seven. So it's the perfect size for me, but I can only really fit in there a phone, my keys, a little card holder for all of my credit cards, and then um, maybe glasses because in the evening or when I drive, I need glasses so I can see. <laughs> so I do have struggled fitting the glasses in there because my glasses are kind of big. So just know if you get this size, 
it doesn't fit much at all. So you might wanna consider the bigger size. I just like this because it was the classic style. And I wouldn't be opposed to purchasing a pre-loved Chanel bag that's a little bit bigger at some point, um, just for more room. But I wanted this one to be new. I think that you can get some really good deals. You just need to make sure they're authenticated somehow. I mean, I don't think that they can 100% guarantee that it's real, but they do have certain protocols they go through. But for this one in particular, I just wanted to buy that one new. I don't think I'll ever buy another new bag from Chanel. I really do think that pre-loved bags are really good values. So I definitely will consider purchasing a pre-loved bag online at some point, not anytime soon. I don't really need another bag. Um, maybe something a little bit more casual. I mean, this can go casual. You can do that, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit much. So I don't know what bag that will be. That is like the bag of my dreams. Let me know if you have other questions about the bag. I know that someone just had a question about wanting to know more about it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Again, it's the medium double flap caviar leather bag in black with gold hardware. Oh, and if you do have a Chanel shop near you and you're planning to go in to purchase one, just call them first because you wanna make sure that the bag is there. This was the last one they had. When I walked in, I don't think I called ahead, but she said, we have one left today and they had just gotten the shipment in. I hope that you enjoyed that little tour of the bag and that's it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. And if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.